Away we go then, Germany in the black shirts and white shorts kicking from left to right in this first half. Argentina in their famous light blue and white stripes. It's the first meeting of these two sides since the controversial and somewhat ill-tempered quarter-final in the World Cup four years ago when it was one all after extra time and Germany went through in the penalty shootout that ensued by four penalties to two. It's the 19th meeting between these two nations. Germany have won five of them. Argentina have won seven. Goals four, Germany 23, Argentina 24 in previous meetings. And this is an important game for both these sides as they make their final preparations for at this summer's World Cup. Blocked there by Verón. Two home base players in the starting 11 for Argentina. And there is uh, Otto Mendy of Vélez Sarsfield. Verón who plays for Estudiantes. here for uh, Muller. Here's Balak once more. He's turned on there by Schweinsteiger. Out to that far side and Philip Lahm. Up against Gutierrez of Newcastle United. Jerome Boateng on this near side. Another hushed, expectant air amongst the supporters it's just left there for the attempted uh, shot on goal which uh, eventually materialised from Podolski Michael Ballack with the uh, foul there on Angel Di Maria Samuel Vero. Di Maria, Messi. Hinks is on this near side. Messi though turns away from Ozil and keeps him at bay. And on with a little chip forward. Messi with the header, beaten in the air by Balak. Messi. They're on trying to get on the end of it. Adler with the punch. That's a spectacular tumble as well from Rene Adler. Hainsey. Like a little tug there on the uh, shirt of Di Maria from uh, Muller, who caught the Argentine player anyway. A free kick to uh, Argentina, and had this been a competitive, a full competitive fixture, may very well have been a yellow card for the German player there. To Mendy. Back to uh, Sergio Romero. Raises football in the Netherlands, the goalkeeper for uh, AZ Alpha. He's through here for Argentina. Ships it right across the face of goal. Flag had gone up anyway. Now, at the moment, this ball is touched through. Well, that looked level. who face Greece, Nigeria and South Korea in their group in South Africa. This at the moment is their last scheduled friendly before the start of the tournament. They may very well arrange a couple more before the big kickoff in June. Balak. Germany already have uh, some friendlies lined up. 
don't have another one until May the 13th. Just away by Romero. Our first look at uh, Diego Maradona, appointed in 2008. It hasn't been the smoothest of reigns so far for the national coach and national icon. I love to describe this uh, fixture as one of the classic matches in uh, world football. So it has some share of excitement over the, the years. No excitement there with that shot coming in from uh, Philip Lahm, the man who scored the opening goal of the 2006 World Cup with a cracking effort against Costa Rica. Brazil. Boateng. Able to get the cross in, Romero got the shout in clearly to Di Michaelis, who left it for the goalkeeper. But Samuel. Samuel winning his 54th cap for Argentina this evening. Gutierrez. Mendy. Here's Veron. Samuel. Sued all the way and uh, beaten to it by closer. Germany with a chance to break, maybe. Ozil, was he just caught there by Di Michaelis? Well, he certainly was. And it's uh, another booking. First, though, for Argentina, Martin Di Michaelis. With the late challenge there on Mesut Ozil. Many, the world's greatest player, Diego Maradona. Many would say Pele, of course. Because it's so close, remember, a few years ago they were both named as number one. by Veron, Di Maria, it's still Di Maria, Di Maria, oh, off the bar! Best chance of the match by a long, long way, and Di Maria is uh, still down in the penalty area. Free kick to Argentina. And Atkinson just uh, halting play. What an excellent run this was. Adler beaten the bar to Germany's rescue. Past Tasky, past Boateng. Maria back on his feet. Podolski gets it back from closer. Lee Michaelis with the challenge. Schweinsteiger. Oh, error from uh, Philip Lahm on that far side. Not 
Can you see that? I just wonder how many changes we're going to get from uh, both teams at the start of the second half. Picked up here by Closer. Looking to take on Di Michaelis. Di Michaelis just showing him outside. Fantastic effort this. Well worth seeing again. Adler just with the touch of his left hand there to push it up and onto the bar. Another changes of foot. I mentioned just a moment ago. Boateng. That was an awkward cross. Well, the challenge came in there on Miroslav Closer. Who went to ground. Martin Atkinson not interested in giving a penalty. Otamendi going up for the ball with Closer. There will be some concerns amongst the uh, German supporters inside the uh, Allianz Arena and amongst the millions watching on television in Germany that uh, their side really haven't uh, created much of note in this first half. Push on Taski. Gonzalo Higuan. Michaelis with the header, taken down by Balak. Di Maria. Foul by Muller. Di Maria, who's with Benfica in Portugal. And who has had the best chance of this match by a long, long way. away from Muller Otamendi on that far side got Podolski with him gets the cross in, Taski away Lam completes the job, closer finds Ozil well, Miroslav closer getting a whack on the knee there did he? That just preceded that one we saw from uh, Ozil into the last minute then of the opening 45. Boateng. Balak finds Lam. Podolski on the overlap. Faced by Otamendi. Here's Philip Lahm. Looking to tee it up in the middle. Well, Romero came for that, but it's cleared by Samuel. Now Higuan. Has he got in behind? Oh, look at Adler. He's way out of goal. Higuan to score. Cat calls raining down from the German supporters upon Rene Adler. And the German team. Argentina in front. Gonzalo Higuan. Well, well, well. What a real mess of a goal as far as Germany are concerned. Look at the goalkeeper all the way out. And just tucked in by the Real Madrid striker. From that moment on, it was always going to be one goal to nil. 
And so it proved. Higuain the scorer, Germany nil, Argentina won, and we're in stoppage time at the end of the first half. down challenge by Heinze Di Maria stumbling across the top of him last few seconds of this first half surely plenty time added on to the stoppage time well Argentina leading by one goal to nil in this uh, friendly Diego Maradona's team on top as they go off for the half-time interval. Gonzalo Higuain with the only goal, as we saw just a few minutes ago. It was an incredibly messy one, not that Argentina will mind. There'll be plenty of changes for the second half, no doubt, and maybe René Adler will be withdrawn after that rush of blood to the head. An awful goal for Germany to give away. Half-time in Munich, Germany nil, Argentina won. Welcome back to Munich, Germany nil, Argentina one in this international friendly as English referee Martin Atkinson gets the second half started. Germany having made one change, bringing on Mario Gomez up front. The tall striker looking to make an immediate impact from the first move forward of this second period. And Germany get a corner, comes off Walter Samuel. Rene Gomez, the Bayern Munich player. Coming on for a Miroslav for closer. Nozil across to take this corner kick then for uh, Germany. But uh, the Argentine uh, physio is uh, required. So uh, Gabriel Hense, who was uh, down, I think there's going to be a change. Certainly that's the signal from almost everybody. Zios are hardly uh, hurrying on, are they? Indeed, the change uh, is going to be made. And it's uh, Clemente Rodriguez who is uh, getting ready to come on. The third of the players who is actually based in uh, Argentina, the man who plays for Estudiantes. Lengthy delay, as you can hear, is uh, not going down too well with the German supporters. La Tasky. Almost caught in possession there, did well to keep hold of it. Adler with the clearance, he needs a good save just to restore a bit of confidence after that. Uh, Mishap at the end of the first half. Romero. Plenty of distance on the uh, clearance. Tasky with the header. Higuain couldn't quite get there. It's Veron to turn it back towards goal, but over. And Hadler just getting to the ball ahead of uh, Higuain on that occasion, but you can see there he's a long way out of his goal. Mind you, there are three players on uh, a booking from the first half. Schweinsteiger from Germany, Di Michaelis and Samuel for Argentina. Messi. Di Maria will do well to keep that ball in play, he's just done so. Up against Boateng. Veron. Messi. Schweinsteiger with the challenge, Lionel Messi. Veron. Gutierrez with the header down. Adler comes and claims it this time.
Ozil. Gomez making the run ahead of him. It's Podolski on this near side. Excellent challenge from Gutierrez. Got back well there. Get his body in the way. A little bit more pace and purpose about Germany in the opening exchanges of this second period. Corner taken short for Dalski. This is Schweinsteiger. Comes off Gutierrez. It's a half time team talk. So far, has had the desired effect. Schweinsteiger. That was an awkward ball because Romero decided to stay for that. Balak went for the header. It's a goal kick, according to Martin Atkinson. Di Michaelis is the player who is down. Oh, he was just caught there by the uh, trailing hand. It seemed to be anything malicious in it. Tevez on the chase up against Tusky. Oh, it almost uh, played into the path of uh, Carlos Tevez. Schweinsteiger. Here's Philip Lahm. Schweinsteiger. Like almost caught that. Jerome Boateng. Muller. Can he get the cross in? Yes, he can. Headed behind for a corner kick. By Badiso. Because Badiso winning his 28th cap tonight. Muller does well to just keep that ball in play. They're on with the free kick. Gutierrez. Samuel. Vero. Tevez with the ball forward. Lam sliding in. Gutierrez in a firm challenge there with Tasky. Tasky recovers the better of the two. Here's Veron, who really is marshalling that midfield expertly tonight. He's been outstanding in the uh, Argentine league in the last couple of years, Juan Sebastian Veron. Messi, can he go through the gap? Mertesacker just sticks out a foot to divert the ball away. That's a foul by Messi. May well be a yellow card as well for Lionel Messi. Challenge on Philip Lahm, and he got there late. Nice little run, the shot though was uh, blocked. Kakao couldn't find a way through. Lahm with the cross, oh! There was room for a header there from Michael Balak, and you'd have expected him to get that one at least on target. Plenty of time, plenty of space. Taken down by Veron. Schweinsteiger's quickly in though to win it back for Germany. Kakao jumping for it and gets the header first as well. Needs somebody out wide. That somebody is Tony Cruz. Towards Kakao. Argentina clear, only as far as Balak. This is Schweinsteiger. Well, at least there's some modicum of effort now from Germany to try and get back into this game. Christian Schweinsteiger unable to add to his 19 goals for Germany with that shot. Oh. 
Now by Veron. On Cacao. Able to get the cross in as well, it was a touch too deep. Boateng. Too deep as well. German fans not at all enthused by their team's performance and really who can blame them? Forward by Kakao. Gomez. Podolski. Balak. This is better from Germany. Kakao pushed away by Romero. The first real save that the Argentina goalkeeper has had to make this evening. And it has come with 76 minutes play. Podolski. But this so gets it away. Oh, only as far as Philip Lahm. Kakao, looking to loft it forward, away by Mascherano. There's a high foot there. Kakao firing this one in. Romero, to be fair, didn't have to move too far to make the block. Kadira. Through for Balak. Mascherano takes it away from him. Here's Mertesacker. Balak forward, finds Cacao. Gomez ahead of it. It somehow goes to uh, Mario Gomez. Cacao! Well, had he caught that, probably. We might have been looking at 1 1. Would have been a spectacular goal had it been volleyed in from there. It's over instead. Such fortunate in the build-up. Tevez gets there ahead of Cadera. Gutierrez. Tevez just beaten to it. Oh, nicely done by Di Maria. Lam gets back goal side of him. Gives away a free kick though. Yeah. And Lam booked not too many minutes ago. Second one for Argentina and that's uh, game one for Argentina. What can they do from this free kick? Veron stands behind it. Driven in towards the near post, off the post. Well, that was Nicolas Badisso who made the run. Comes off Badisso, off the goalkeeper. Like it struck the post as well. Let's have another look from this angle. Yes, just there. Veron. Tevez. Messi ahead of him. Gutierrez on this near side. Here is Jonas Gutierrez. Faced by Lahm. Mascherano. Di Maria. Faced by Boateng. Rodriguez. Veron. A spell of Argentina possession, not appreciated by the home supporters. Gutierrez. 
They're almost toying with Germany, or Argentina. Remember that magnificent passing move that led to one of their goals in the last World Cup. 22, 26 passes, and they know that. Argentina are about to make uh, another change. Oh, we must be getting on for a half century of passes now from Argentina without a German player touching the ball. Lahm does. Germany have a touch of the ball. Mario Balatti, incidentally, who is uh, preparing to come on the Fiorentina midfielder. Wonder if it will be for Veron. Well, in the great big scheme of things, this result for Joachim Love doesn't really matter. It what happens in South Africa in the summer that is of prime importance but it's going to be a testing few weeks now for the German coach after this defeat and the manner of this defeat Argentina winning it the goal in stoppage time at the end of the first half by Gonzalo Higuain and Diego Maradona gets the better of Joachim Love Argentina ranked ninth in the world beating Germany ranked fifth in the world in this international friendly in Munich. Argentina fans can celebrate. It is finished. Germany nil, Argentina won. So it seems a little bit of work to do for Joachim Löw and his side before the opening 2010 FIFA World Cup Group D clash against the Socceroos in Durban on June 14. From Munich to Madrid now, and how do you fancy being at the Santiago Bernabeu to watch the UEFA Champions League final on May 23? Well, Heineken and SBS have joined forces to make this dream a reality for one lucky football fan. To be in the running to win this spectacular prize, log on to our website, sbs.com.au slash the world game and answer the multiple choice question. Competition closes on Monday the 29th of March, so good luck with that. And speaking of the TWG website, it's new and improved, so jump online. The World Game has evolved with new features and even more football content. The biggest and best stats centre, live scores, plus more video highlights and exclusives.